Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. I, I make a lot of motherhood lifestyle and teaching content on my channel. However, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and something that everybody can relate to at this moment. So I am going to jump in and get started. And today's video is going to be how to celebrate the holidays during a pandemic. That's right, you heard me, celebrate. You're probably wondering, how could that be possible? But I have come up with a few ways that I think would help you, your family, and your friends still make the holidays happen just a little bit differently. So first and foremost, um, above all else, above celebrating, you could simply just not celebrate at all. You could just stay and celebrate with those in your household and then any extended family, you know, you wouldn't get together with. That may be the route we're going, um, but if you want to be 100% sure you're not spreading the virus or nobody is, you know, there's a chance that somebody would give it to you, um, then I would just avoid it all costs. That's first and foremost. Number two is probably one of my favorites. I had this idea, you can choose one person's house in your family that they could host Thanksgiving or Christmas at. So I'm mo mostly gonna talk about Christmas because I'm going to incorporate the presents and how that would work out. Here is exactly what I have come up with. The host could rent or buy clear tents that could be placed outdoors. So if you had four family households, um, you would buy four tents and they would basically be six feet apart from one another and they would be more like a, a wedding style um, tent, you know, those clear ones or they're pretty, you could buy or rent one, like I mentioned. Um, and then for like decor in the middle, you could place a Christmas tree. And then that would be a place where everybody would place their gifts, but I'll get more into that in a little bit. The host can supply the tables and chairs or each family would bring their own. Um, if you wanna go really simple and you don't have a table or you don't wanna find one or rent one, you could very well just bring lawn chairs. Um, I know in circumstances like these, I would just, you know, even a blanket, like a, a picnic table blanket would do as well. Um, so you could get as simple or complex as you wanted with this, but that's my first idea. So either the host would have all the tables and chairs or you would provide your own. Then in order to prevent any spread, each household um, would bring their own food and drinks. So it's not like the host or one person would be providing it for everybody. It would just stay within that household. So Aunt Susie would bring a dish for their family. Your mom would bring their family a dish. Whoever lives together, they would supply their own food and drinks for that tent. Vacation is possible if everyone leaves their tent and is either six feet apart or is wearing a mask. I think this is still possible. It's just there's no way that you can wear a mask while eating. So to prevent the spread, everybody stays in their own tent until they're completed eating. Then everybody can come outside the tent and communicate that way, either wearing a mask or staying six feet apart. Or if you want to be extra safe, wear a mask and be six feet apart. Briefly mentioned before, to still make it festive, I think the host should have a tree in the middle of all the tents. So whether if it's four tents, six tents, if you had three on either side, two on either side, and then a tree in the middle, I think that would be perfect. Then everybody may leave their gifts by the tree when they arrive. One family at a time will go ahead and grab their own gifts. Then at that time, they'll take it back to their tent and they'll open it there. In order to make sure that gifts aren't contaminated, if you're worried about that, you can either leave them untouched for two weeks. I would just put them in, in a, a box um, or a trash bag, whatever you bring your gifts in and just leave them in there for 14 days prior to Christmas. Um, if not, another thing I recommend is that everybody can wear gloves um, and then take them off after they're done opening. Or you can also have Lysol available or just open them with your hands and then put hand sanitizer on afterwards. So you may be wondering, what is the downside to all this? The downside is depending where you leave, it may not, it may not be possible. With snow, rain, you may not know what the weather conditions may be, so this may not be feasible. Even if it's like 45 degrees, that could be pretty cold for an extended period of time. Um, I live in the north, 
northeast so it could be pretty cold um however a few years ago i'd say about three four years ago i lived through a christmas eve that was like 76 degrees so i'm hopeful that there's a possibility maybe around christmas we will get nice weather even if it's in like the mid 50s i think it's doable um but if you're like me and live in the Northeast, you might just have to wait it out till it gets closer to that date. If you live somewhere like Southern California, Florida, great. Then what I am saying right now will probably work out best for you. Idea number three, a drive-by or curbside, curbside visit that whoever you're visiting can pick them up and gather them. This could be a real quick visit. No food needs to be involved. You stop by for 30 minutes, you can, talk, wish everybody happy holidays, see each other, but don't get more than six feet um, close to each other. And, you know, you can still exchange gifts, taking precautions like I mentioned before, but yeah, it's not the most traditional way, but things are changing in 2020. So curbside, curbside visit or drive-by is another option to go. I know a lot of people for birthday parties were doing the parades. You could do something very similar. Um, and this doesn't even have to be done on Christmas. Like if there is a day that you see is going to be warmer or the weather is going to be better, maybe on the 23rd, you can plan to do it with friends or family prior to Christmas as well. Number four is one that many people have become familiar with during the pandemic, which is a Zoom call. You could deliver gifts in advance via mail and then everybody can hold on to their gifts until Christmas, do a Zoom call, and then each family opens their gifts in front of each other on Zoom. I think this is also pretty practical. Um, it's the way things are going from a corporate standpoint, with people working from home. Um, it's the safest. You don't have to worry about weather or anything like that. So that is one thing I recommend is delivering gifts ahead of time, having people hang on to them, and then they can open them or unwrap them over a Zoom call on Christmas. Just make sure you plan in advance because they are predicting that shipment and deliveries may be pretty backed up closer to Christmas, especially because more and more people are turning to online shopping this year. Last but not least, you can quarantine 14 days prior to your holiday event. It's easy if people are working from home more and more. Um, also, it may not be easy on the contrary because even though some people are working from home, they're still sending their kids to daycare, so there's still some exposure there. But this could be difficult in ways that are, you know, have to do with shopping. There could be no last minute shopping, no last minute grocery shopping, unless if you're going to do a grocery delivery or pickup. So it could make it a little bit difficult for everybody to quarantine 14 days prior to the event. So I hope that gives you some great ideas on how you can celebrate the holidays during a pandemic this year, whether if it's Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you name it. I hope I provided you with great ideas. Things are changing in the way uh, we celebrate our traditions in 2020. We are now making new traditions because of the pandemic. So I hope this makes things a little bit fun with a twist for you. Please give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.